the cities I served in throughout my mission, I served um, in Lethbridge, so north, Lethbridge first, and then I served in Calgary, and then Airdrie, and then two other parts of Lethbridge. So uh, Lethbridge is one of the biggest places where I serve, so I know pretty much the whole city of Lethbridge. Um, there's temples in my mission as well. There's the Calgary Temple that actually came out that was dedicated back in October 2012, so it's still kind of new. And then the Cardston Temple that was in my mission as well. So I was able to go to my mission at least every three months or so. So that was um, a really good experience to actually able to go because sometimes there's other missions that you're not allowed to go on temples or not allowed to do sessions. So I guess it was really nice as a missionary to experience that. And different, I guess, religious ways of how people see in Canada. There were some parts where people were accepting because there's so many cultures in Canada that there's people from the Philippines, people from Vietnam, people from all over the country that will go to Canada. I don't know if it's cheaper or better jobs. I have no idea. But people, some people are accepting and willing to accept the gospel. But then there's some who are um, very, I guess, practice to their um, religion, like Roman Catholic, or there's some that were believing that they already had everything they already had, like their life was great, they didn't have no issues, no troubles. So that's why they feel like they didn't really need the gospel. That was some parts of my mish, some parts of my area, and then other parts, other areas where people have struggled with smoking, um, really, to give up that or give up, um, I think, coffee as well or tea. So there's, I think those are the common answers that a lot of return missionaries say in other areas, but um, that's just what I remembered from my mission. So.